went to Frank and uh, spoke with him about what we wanted to do to build uh, a chapel, to build a student center for our students, and to um, make a, a nice presence at the University of Kansas. But one of the things I love about them is that they never do anything for you, but they do everything with you. So not only did he say, well, I will give you this gift, you know, I'll work with you and we will make this happen. They had a very tremendous strong faith, a faith in the church, a love for the church, and willingness to help the church in any way that they could, that they can. He always thinks big. He has a, a big vision. And Judith is, is exactly uh, behind that. And, and she lives with that same big vision that they have. So it's a very dynamic uh, relationship and Frank and Judith are very dynamic people. They really have a nice relationship uh, as husband and wife and that that comes from this whole uh, positive, joyful, generous heart that that drives their, their lives. You can't talk about one without talking about the other so it's always Frank and Judith together. Their reason for doing what they do is because they believe in the cause or they believe that this is going to be better for people. They don't do things for recognition. They do things because they need to be done. You know, I find them both as very, uh, very humble people. I admire that. And they're very warm and caring. And, and first and foremost, probably, just their willingness to share their time, talent, and treasures uh, with the community. Kind of what you see is what you get with Frank, and uh, just a very humble person and very insightful. Well, there's many things that I admire about Frank and Judith. Um, certainly their positive attitude, their solution-oriented people, um, and, and also their sense that folks should have a chance, they should have an opportunity to experience the arts regardless of where they live or what kind of money they make. They really do believe that the arts should be for everyone. They are generous with their time. I think they are very interested in connecting arts organizations one to another to make them stronger. I think they believe in having good business sense in the arts, but also they really support creativity in every way. She's supportive, she's supportive of the staff and the board. She's very dedicated to the programs and interested in seeing the very best programs we can possibly do. People know a lot about um, the gifts of Frank and Judith for the arts, uh, but what most folks don't know is that they are tremendous tremendous supporters of the arts all across the state of Kansas. Frank I knew because of his business background, his business involvement, and he was a Board of Regent member on the Kansas Board of Regents. Judith was teaching for Washburn and in our art program, and so I got to know her uh, because of that. The Sabatinis are exceptionally involved in Topeka. If there is an event, particularly if it involves uh, arts, philo philanthropy, they have been there. Frank was truly one of the first people I met when I came to Topeka. Uh, I'm a pilot and I landed at Forbes Field to come for uh, a visit to the campus and he strode out onto the tarmac to greet me and to tell me uh, uh, tell me a little bit about Washburn and tell me a lot about Topeka. He reached into his coat pocket and pulled out a list of things that he thought I should be doing. Uh, things that I should be accomplishing uh, for Washburn and for the city of Topeka. I still have that list in my desk and I'm working to complete it all, Frank. I really am. It was Judith and Frank that made the art lab at the Mulvane Art Museum really possible and made it happen. They were the driving force behind that. It was an idea that she had had for some time and had talked with me about on a number of occasions that she would like to see a space in that facility for children so that they could come experiment, they could come experience art just hands-on, getting their hands dirty, get involved in art in that laboratory. To be honored by persons that know you and who know you sometimes quite well is really special. In our culture, in our society, we don't say thank you often enough. We don't celebrate things often enough. And so when we have the opportunity to do that, it really becomes something that we should cherish. And so receiving this recognition uh, at this point in time is really special and I congratulate both of you on well-deserved recognition.